Hi, I'm Dr. Jen from Med Club by Dr. Jen. I'm glad you tuned in to my YouTube video today. Um, I'm hoping to inform you on something that you might not know much about. Uh, the basis of it is the Priapus shot, also known as the Pea shot. Um, and another thing we're very excited about is we just opened a location. Um, it's in Green Acres. It's 4889 Lake Worth Road, number 109. Um, you can always use our same number to get in touch with us though, 561-214-3323. Uh, but we're very excited. We completely rehabbed our, our little treatment room and the hallway, and so it's an exciting place to be. Um, but now, moving on to the pea shot. Before I can get into pea shot, I really need to uh, discuss the background of the problem that brings up the pea shot. So the basic of the problem is sexual issues that come up with, with the males. Um, you know, I know men talk to each other a lot more than you do your physician, your doctor, or women in your life. Um, but this is a time when we can talk openly about any kind of sexual issues because that affects all parts of our lives. Uh, some of the problems that might be seen are there's decreased sensation. There could have always been decreased sensation or it could be a new thing of having decreased sensation. Um, some people are having trouble with firmness in their erection or they're unable to maintain an erection during their relations. Uh, of course, we've all heard lots and lots and lots about erectile dysfunction or ED. Um, I'm very thankful that that is out there and we're talking about it so it's not so taboo anymore. Um, Peyronie's disease is another subject that uh, I'll go into a little more later, um, but the P-Shot helps with that as well. Um, and then many times with age, size decreases, you know, genetics alone can just lead to a smaller size and desired, and when I say size, I mean both length, length and girth. Um, but what the problem ultimately ends up being is very strained relationships, whether it be, you know, wife, husband, girlfriend, or just having the, the self-esteem to go out there anymore and, and have fun. So um, let's, let's address some of these things so we can get everyone on the same page and have some education out there on men's sexual health. So like I said before, erectile dysfunction has been in our face for, you know, a couple years now. Um, it's a subject that needed to be addressed and now it's addressed almost to the other point of we hear it all the time. Um, erectile dysfunction, we all know there's pills that help that. We all know there are different things at sex toy st shops that help that or may not help that. Um, but all the, the things we have up until now are band-aids for the problem. You know, I can't get an erection, I take a pill, I get an erection. Whereas the pee shot attacks the problem and instead of just figuring out how to make something happen, we fix the problem so we don't have to put a band-aid on it because there's no, lo no longer a problem to fix. Um, again, I really hope this kind of opens the discussion about sexual health in general because it's important. It, it affects everyone's life, self-esteem, um, motivation. Uh, I've had everything from singles come in who, you know, would just like to experience better sexual life to couples come in that say that, you know, once we were a great match and we're not anymore, so what can we do? Um, many doctors won't, won't really give a lot of advice just because they're not trained in this area. Um, current options for sexual health in men are, of course, medications for ED. Um, there is a, uh, for erectile dysfunction, there's also a shot you can get that gives you an instant erection, but again, it's a Band-Aid. Um, and then if you have Peyronie's, surgery's the only other option. Uh, let me just discuss Peyronie's really fast in case we're not sure uh, what, what we're talking about here. Peyronie's is an increase in scar tissue um, where the shaft of the pubis should be straight more or less. The scar tissue ends up making it bend and it can bend to a point where it's painful during intercourse. Um, and before either 
you learn to live with the, the uncomfortableness or there's surgery to take out the scar tissue. Um, but now with the P-Shot, you know, there's been a great number of success with uh, helping men with Peronis um, in a natural way. So uh, that's kind of a big deal to, to help men enjoy sex again. Uh, there's also been a few cases of men who have painful ejaculation. Um, this is, addresses that as well. So let's talk about the cry push shot. Um, the founder I was lucky enough to, to train under, he uh, you know studied this and did many trials and errors and found out the best way to handle each situation. And I trained under him and I had the utmost respect for everything he says. Um, so just to kind of break it down is what happens, we take blood just from your arm. Um, we take just a little blood and we use what's called a centrifuge. Not sure you can see it in the, the camera, but it's just a machine and it takes your blood and it spins it around super, super fast. And when you do that, obviously the heavier material, which is your red blood cells, settle down to the bottom of the tube. Red cells, they have great function. You know, we need them, they help us live, they deliver oxygen, but we don't need them in this case. So what we're looking for is there's this yellow um, top to the material and that's the plasma. And so we gently you know, syringe, take a syringe and take out the yellow top, the plasma out of that. And we toss the red blood cells because we don't need those for this procedure. So at this point we have um, plasma that came out of your own blood, so it's all natural. And it's yellow, usually kind of a homogenous yellow, um, you know, slightly opaque look. Uh, and it's filled with lots and lots of different things, including, including platelets. Um, we take that yellow plasma, we put it back in our centrifuge, and again, we spin it and spin it for even longer. And that way, what we get is, and you can't really see it very well with the naked eye, but we have uh, special tubes that show us at the very bottom is what we call the platelet-rich plasma. And that's the plasma with the most platelets inside of it and that's what we would like um, as our, our substance and so uh, our centrifuge and our technique that uh, Dr. Ronalds has taught has taught us to get the very best material to help the situation. So now that we have this this platelet rich plasma also you might hear it as PRP um, what do we do? We have this this PRP uh, and to to kind of sum up plasma, if you fall down, skin your knee, or you rub your elbow on brick, or whatnot, and cause an abrasion, you feel a burn associated with that. You know, you, usually you think the burn is from you know skin being torn or anything like that, but then you look and there's a usually a film of clear yellow material on top of the the uh, abrasion, and that's your plasma. And what your plasma does is it goes to the area and it says, we're hurt here, we need to fix this. And so that's what your body does. It goes there and it, it, it sees that you're hurt and it fixes it, but in that period of time, it burns a little bit. So that's where that burn comes from when we get any kind of abrasion or scrape our knee or anything like that. But that also tells you, uh, you know, red blood cells are coming out just because it has a formed a clot to stop, stop them. The platelets and the plasma they're there doing the heavy lifting, the work to rebuild the tissue that was once there and to heal you. So when we inject this into an area that doesn't necessarily have a wound, um, and we do injections of PRP all over, so it's not just, uh, it's not just for erectile issues. Um, in fact, major league um, football, baseball, basketball people, you hear of them blowing out their knee and then they have injections into their knee and lo and behold, they're, they're better again. Well, what they're doing is exactly what I just explained. They take PRP and they inject it in there. Body sees the injury, the body remakes the tissue because it recognizes the tissue that is there since it's natural and it basically creates a way to fix yourself. Um, 
what we use it for is we kind of manipulate it to say, hey, there's an injury here, even though there's not. But it creates more blood vessels, more nerve tissue, more tissue in general um, in that area. And so that ends up being a natural fix to whatever problem we're having. Um, most people, if they do the routine as they're supposed to, um, they see results nearly immediately. Downtime, no downtime. Um, you know, most people go home and have sexual relations that night. There's no pain. There's nothing to to stop. You know, anything in your daily life. Um, so, for erectile dysfunction, it helps tremendously with erectile dysfunction. I can't promise you you won't still have to or won't have to take some of your medication, but you won't have to take as much as your medication. Um, but a lot of people are off their medication altogether after this procedure. Uh, but you know, as soon as you say always, then the exception pops up. So um, you will definitely need less of medication if you take Cialis or any of those type medications. Um, it, the increased sensitivity, it is uh, for both the head and the shaft of the penis. Um, again, that PRP is going in there and it's saying, you know, I'm not sure what's wrong, so let's rebuild the tissue that is naturally here. Let's rebuild the, the blood vessels, which causes your erection. Let's rebuild the nerves, which is our sensitivity. Let's rebuild all the tissue here to make this organ what it once was. Um, and so, you know, and the biggest question I get asked by far is, does it hurt? And, you know, I obviously can't speak from an experience, but everyone I've done this for might have a little discomfort, but the most, if you're rating it zero to 10, 10 being the most discomfort you've ever had in your life, zero being none, the biggest number I've heard was a two, and that was with uh, injecting the lidocaine to numb. So the pain isn't nearly as bad as, as people fear it is. Um, you know, I, I can say this is probably, this and the O shot are probably my two most favorite things to do. Um, there's nothing better than getting a call uh, from a couple and they say, I mean, you, you, you've rekindled us, you know, we weren't having sex, neither of us were enjoying it, for whatever reason, couldn't get an erection or couldn't have an orgasm or whatever the reason is. And then all of a sudden, that part of their life's back, they reconnect, you know, you hear that you save a family, you saved a marriage. And I'm so thankful that Dr. Reynolds allowed me to learn under him because this has been one of the most giving back procedures I've ever been involved with. Um, you know, overall, what's also really cool is uh, self-esteem goes way up. You have healthier relationships. Um, you don't, you know, if you're a single person and you don't go to a bar and you have that thought in the back of your head of, oh, it'd be great if I met someone tonight, but, you know, make sure the lights are off and I wonder what I can do to distract and all that kind of stuff. So, um, anyway, I hope you know a little bit more about the Pride of the Shot. Um, big fan of it, big fan of that and those shot. Like I said, they, they definitely give me the most satisfied customers um, and if you ever have any questions feel free to email me my email is Jen Guthrie MD that's J-E-N-N-G-U-T-H-R-I-E MD at medclub M-E-D-C-L-U-V P-B dot com you can always text or call it's uh, 561-214 Three three two three. We're happy to sit down and talk with you. Happy to have a consult. Um, I got this great room now, so it's kind of nice because everything's here and it's it's very convenient. Um, so you know, we also have a lot of information on our Facebook page and our Twitter page. Um, I don't handle a lot of social media, so you'll have to you'll have to look past my ignorance. But luckily, my business partner is all over social media, so. Um, if you want more information, you can definitely find it there. And also, or we have a new website just came up. It is uh, 
drjennpv.com. That's www.drjennpv.com. And well, I don't know what else to say about the pea shot, but I hope you do your research. And if you're interested, give us a call. We will be happy to chat with you about it. And I hope you enjoy your week. Bye.